consumer alert tonight about those emails claiming that a relative of yours has died and left you millions. What makes these come-ons so enticing? Something for nothing, of course. Tonight, ABC 15 investigator Joe Ducey gives us a first-hand look from the inside. It started innocently, putting my web address online to get bids for a landscaping project. I got plenty. And then I get this one. It's an intriguing email from Malaysia. Dear Mr. Ducey, I am Lim Chi, a legal practitioner. Turns out Lim Chi is an attorney for Julius Ducey, who supposedly died last year, and as his nearest living relative, I'm the beneficiary. Valued at $4.8 million in U.S. money. Okay, I'm interested. One problem. I've never heard of a Julius Ducey. As far as I know, we have no relatives by that name. If anyone knew, my dad would. Do you think you know you would know if there was a Ducey that had $4.8 million? Well, I would uh, probably try to get to know him better. Lim Chi sent a supposed license and picture of himself. We don't know. Over two weeks of correspondence, his intentions became clearer. He asked me to pose as the brother of Julius, asked the bank to put his money in my account. And you will take 40% of the whole amount. Lim Chi gets the rest. Is this Lim Chi? Finally, I called the Malaysian phone number he left. Just say that he's my brother, even though he's not? Okay. And I won't get in trouble for this? No problem. Wells Fargo bank officials say they've seen it before. The money usually is, is, is counterfeit. We usually don't see the money. So the customer, you know, on our, the customer is usually out. So, several so yeah, they're at several thousand. We decided not to tip our hands so we could find out who Lim Chi really is and what he might demand of us next. We'll let you know as we find out over the next couple of days. I'm investigator Joe Ducey, ABC 15 News, your Valley News leader.